Oh, hey, what about that? Is that good now? Yeah, that's working. Uh, I don't know what the deal is. I've, I've, my interface has been kind of jankety, I guess. But yeah, here we are. What's up? Shout out Bunster for holding down the chat. <coughs> um, yeah. So. Um, I just went and skated for the whole morning. It was pretty tight. Uh, I don't know. Having a good day? Just had some coffee. And, uh, yeah, going to work on some music now. Uh, I was saying earlier, I mean, now, yeah, I guess you didn't hear me. But um, I've been, like, testing all these songs out in, in my car. Uh and like it's a shitty sound system so it's a really good like way of telling me what sounds good and what doesn't sound good and <clears throat> um i want to go through i might have a few hours here so i i kind of want to spend like an hour per song you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna set some alarms so i'm gonna set an alarm for three o'clock so i'm only allowed to work on stuff for a certain amount of time so we got 3 p.m., and then we got 4, yeah, 4 p.m. <clears throat> okay, I got two alarms set. I'm going to spend an hour per song. Uh, I'm going to start with this dance hall one, and then I'm going to work on the deep song, that deep, uh, the thunder, the lightning and thunder. And then I'm also going to work on the whatever that skibbity bop song is the dubstep one um because i have a i actually have a back-to-back -back with boogie t this weekend <clears throat> so i want to get my songs ready and like get some get the right music going for that um probably gonna be a lot of drum and bass because both of us seem to be i mean i guess i'm always i've always been you know there for the drum and bass thing down for it love it it's like probably the genre of electronic music that i listen to the most <clears throat> not counting like dub because i wouldn't consider that i don't know for some reason i don't really think of it as electronic music but it is it's just more with like recorded instruments and stuff but anyway i digress uh, I'm gonna start working on this. So this is the this is the tune that's like I wanted to make something where I could get out of drum and bass and into like reggaeton or like whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Intro is pretty banging. Just because it's a little more mellow, it's not as like...
actually kind of cool. So I'm gonna add another duck just to this, just to like shape it a little more. Um, I wanna do this. There's some stuff going on here. So yeah, let's mess with this reverb. track using the sample this shit is bananas i yes i have it's called bananas here i'll let me share a link with you real quick <laughs> um hold up bananas i'm not gonna play it for you but here boom there you go There we go. I just like turned the resonance down on the filter because it kind of. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, fuck it. Let's just put some outer space on it. After the duck. Might be a little extreme, but filter right here during these things.
So the only thing with that is it kind of has the same tone that the flute had. So... stretching here. Whoops. Oh, there we go. trying let's keep trying some of these the whistle. I don't know. Kind of into it. <laughs> I'm saving the whistle. I'm just going to set it aside because that's pretty sick. <clears throat> um, we'll just we'll just set it aside. Uh, we'll just we'll go through some more. Let's go through some more. 
wave tables and see what we can see what we can uh land on permanently. Uh Glork to the rescue. As always. Screep. <laughs> I mean, that's just sick already. to like keep this thing going keep this little growly stuff going um but then oh yeah we could we could totally do that we could do whatever we want i mean <laughs> there's your there's your uh motivational speech of the day <laughs> with this let's mess with these wave tables <laughs> Oh, here we go. Maybe the growls will sound better. 
I kind of like that. Desperate need of soothe. Like, oh shit, we're it's on the wrong thing. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's... Okay, there we go. That's what I expected. Yeah, Soothe is going hard on this. I don't want to get rid of, like, all of the resonance, because that's kind of the point. But I do want it to sound good. Yeah, that sounds pretty nice, actually. Um, let's turn the whistle down. That's way too high. <laughs> Um, I 
I still want to change this though. Yeah, something needs to. Something's got to get fixed with this thing. Let's see. Maybe it's this. <laughs> to basic still kind of harsh I guess I think that sounded pretty good. Oh, we also need to do air horns on the drop. That's, oh, we already have air horns? We need more. Um, also, I wanna throw some like, shit, I gotta find this sample pack. There's like a dance hall effects sample pack that I really like to use on Spice. Let me just see. Dance hall. Okay, effects. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a nice air horn. Kind of go with the, go with the snare. Oh yeah. Oh Outer space on there, have it turn on right on the right on the drop. Perfect. And then we give it a nice little half note delay. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. And we'll do that. Oh, should we do half note or should we do quarter? No, I think we need quarter. Just kidding. We'll just delete that. Um, either way, I'm gonna. I I have I have the exact effects in my brain that I'm looking for. I just need to find them. That's one of them. That is definitely one of them. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
where we just kind of load it up with effects. Effects. There's more. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's do some of that. So that's at 115. So we're going to do this. Sick, like right there, right into the next part. gunshot that's kind of sick uh but i want it like short little not not like a big long one but like a <laughs> or maybe that could be cool <laughs> I'm just trying to make the craziest like pre-drop little situation. <laughs> Let's put spring reverb on it just to be safe. Outer space. We're going to be using a lot of outer space on these. All right. Um, oh, looks like, looks like, uh, looks like my new merch store is about to be up and running in like two days. No, in three, three or three, three days, four days. Three or four days. Yeah. We're gonna, um, yeah, we're gonna be back up and running. I'm stoked. It's been a while. Um, okay, let's see. <laughs> yeah, sick. I like that air horn. So 
So I'm gonna boost the feedback a little. Bit. Turn the intensity down for the ones on the draw. Um, yeah, this sounds cool. We just need to make it not as... We need to, like, round it off on the high end a little bit. Maybe I'll give it a little bit of that reverb. sounding cool i'm i'm feeling pretty happy about this <clears throat> the mix is nice um the drop like the first drop i think is totally fine i don't want to change it this is the only one i'm like wondering about Toying with the idea of like switching the drops, but I like this. I was also like thinking about doing this filter thing again just to see. just give it a little boost uh but i want to send let's see i don't know actually i don't think i want to send this lfo uh, the, yeah this lfo to the gain on here because <clears throat> it'll be such a drastic like spike i just want to give it a little more sizzle that's all
iffy on this, but I, I kind of want to try and I want to see if it's detuned at all. Okay, so I did some detuning, but the only thing I want to make sure of, because this is like, it always fucks you when you're trying to detune, is make sure it's mono compatible. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> So that kind of comes out of nowhere. I mean, I guess it's okay. <clears throat> I guess it kind of works. I don't know. It's just, there's something there that's, <clears throat> it, it like, that breakdown thing just comes out of nowhere. Um, need something like, some riser going into it or something. Uh... Oh, there we go. We could just copy that. Uh, no, I know what we need to do is just get rid of the... Or we can just put a, put a filter on it, a little auto filter. And then maybe we just take all the drums out right here. I think that might be it. And then we go like this. Oh, I got, <clears throat> I got just the idea. Kilohertz tape stop <clears throat> on the whole side chain group. Let's just see if it works. Um, okay. Stop time goes up a little bit. Start time, I don't know. We'll figure that out if we need to. <laughs> Okay, we can make this work. Uh, I'm gonna use a crash. Yeah. Makes a little more sense now. Yeah, yeah, there's a clip. 
click right there. Okay, that was bugging me. <laughs> yep that was the click yeah we're good now um cool got that taken care of yeah i'm pretty pumped on this song now um <laughs> So I'm just going to copy, I guess I'm just going to copy the whole drop from over here, like so, um, since it's pretty dialed in, put it right there for now. <laughs> And then I'm gonna freeze and flatten that. Uh, I'm gonna freeze and flatten it and then put even more soothe on it, which I know is crazy, but that's what we're doing. Um, yeah. What's what's good in the chat? Who's 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 there? Who's chilling in here? It's a mellow day. Taking it nice and easy. Um, yeah. <laughs> Damn, I wish I brought a snack here. I need to. I, I I'm. I gotta load this place up with snacks. That's uh. Yeah, it needs to be top priority. All right, so I'm flattening this, and then I'm gonna put soothe on it. Boom, soothe it out. We can do some of this 28th. Let me play some, uh, let me play, actually, you know what? Let's just listen to, let's listen to the next song that we're going to work on. Um, oh shit, what's it called? 
and uh, 527. So I worked on this yesterday. Um, I, I'm going to play this and try and find a snack. obnoxious possible thing um so yeah that one's sounding pretty good i listened listened to it in the truck today um it sounded pretty good i think the kick drum might be really loud i, th I think the kick drum just needs to come down a slight bit um maybe the sub bass could come up just I don't know. We'll we'll have to we'll have to give it a listen and give it a run through and see what we gotta do. But it's I mean yeah I'm happy with it. Other than like I I think creatively it's done. I don't think I want to change anything because I don't know the two drops are different and they sound cool. But yeah let's just uh, let's just get in here and. Let's, let's turn this guy down a little bit. Maybe these could go up. Actually, that's pretty loud. So uh, let's, let's get a little undo there. I think what we could do, though, looks like we got a Pro Q3 on there. Um. Since we do want to bring out some of those other things, we could do something like that. I 
got another idea. I'm going to do an audio effect track. And I want to do some saturation, but I only want it to happen to like, um, I don't want it to affect the low end. So this is dry signal. And this is saturate, saturate. <laughs> my new word I made up. Um, so we're going to do this. Uh, saturate is going to go through this. And then we're going to put a saturator after it. But not just any saturator. SPL twin tube. Because it has that harmonic little, little guy. Little deal. Yeah, give it some nice noise. That's a lot. That might be a little overkill, but let's just listen and see. He he came, he saw, he saturated. Knowing the sound test is a life and I'm torn up. Give, <clears throat> let's give these hats a little bit of love. Um, oh, they got a lot of low end in them. No need for that. gone through the second drop is this the whole song or am i thinking of throwing some webs on top this is the song there will be no webs sometimes you gotta you gotta just forego the webs check this out though Oh, 
Okay, we're missing some effects in there. Oh shit. Yeah. So let's let's just do this. Let's just copy these effects like all the way over and then boom. Let's see. Should make that drop a little more full. Correct, this is something to chill and vibe to. Or, yo, here's what I'm saying about this kind of music. Like festivals are happening, uh, giant sound systems. I can't wait to just play this on like, I can't wait to play this at Bass Canyon. That'll be so sick. Like, having a nice, giant, proper system with, like, good sub bass. Whoo! This thing's gonna, like, smash. I'm pretty stoked. Anyway. Yeah. You're in the song, Might mess with that little bup -bup instead of having it go bun da bun Might have it go. Kind of cool, like uh, adjusting the, the erosions and then going back into here and adjusting this. So this is this is what we're like messing with here. <clears throat> we can keep going too, like. I don't know, put chorus on it, just to see. put OTT on it. Oh shit.
Shit, this might be good to go. I don't even know if I need to do much to this now. <clears throat> like, I feel good about playing it this weekend, as it is right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk around the room and listen. So <laughs> I'm happy with this. Um, I'm just going to like listen to the drop and like kind of mess with the maximizer and the compressor and just get it to the right spot. <laughs> or I don't know. It might be loud enough right now. So my goal is to just have it fit fit in my sets, you know? That right there is like pretty distorted. pretty loud but yeah uh, maybe let's try this that sounds pretty good Totally happy with this. I'm gonna bounce it. Bounce it and call it a day. Well, no, I'm not gonna call it a day yet. We got one more song to open up. Um, and then we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna be good. I'm stoked though. We did like two new songs this week, right? Uh, the, the reggaeton and the, this one. That's pretty tight. Uh, I'm gonna, Bounce it. We're gonna call it Thunder 528. Um, do I know Chi? Yeah, love that guy. Chi is the one who, oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Oh wow. Well, might as well hang out and talk. Um, yeah, Chi is the one who like got me to make a sample pack and he showed me some cool tricks in Ableton that um made it you know easy to come up with samples and stuff like that like some of the melodic stuff in that sample pack was all kind of inspired by him so yeah he's a good dude um one of the nicest people that I've met Yeah, I wonder if I'm playing any shows. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm playing some shows with him soon too. 
We've uh we've been on some subtronic shows together. Um yeah. I wish I had a kendama right now. I gave my kendama to 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 Mr. Full Swing. So hopefully he's getting some good use out of it. Um <clears throat> Yeah. What else is up? What do you guys want to talk about? We're only at thirty percent right now. <laughs> this thing's gotta this thing's gotta pick it up a little bit. I'm probably gonna work on I'm probably gonna work on that one other song and then and then bounce because I am getting a little bit hungry. You know? Forgot to bring snacks here, so maybe I'll go load up on snacks and bring them to the studio. Um, let's see. Oh, maybe we should play the other song. Let's do that. Let's listen to it. Uh, Skibbity bop. the drums a little bit uh, I think they could be cutting through a little bit more especially the kick kicks the kick is kind of weak sauce on the drop in my opinion all right this is almost done bouncing Almost there. <clears throat> and then it drops into nothing. Sick. Yeah. Tight. Um, all right. We've got 13% left. What else should we listen to? Oh, what about Mr. Squeezy? Yeah, remember we wrote some house music a couple weeks ago. This has been a fun journey of writing music on Twitch too. Because it's I don't know, I've never like I've never gotten used just gotten used to like writing music on the stream all the time. So, yeah, it's been cool.
dubstep stuff cyber optics remember cyber optics that was my favorite robotic dubstep easy mr squeezy just be I might just have to be done here I got some other stuff I gotta take care of um yeah anywho it's fun hanging with you guys today um I might jump back on here tomorrow we'll see I got my kid so we might just be chilling doing stuff um so yeah if I don't see you guys in a few days have a good weekend. Be safe. Um, don't be too safe, though. And then drink water. That's all I got. All right.